Flight ET-302 crashed after takeoff from Addis Ababa, killing 157 people, and it was the second crash of a Boeing 737 MAX aircraft in five months. Last October, Lion Air Flight JT-610 crashed into the sea near Indonesia, killing all on board. In a news conference in Addis Ababa, Transport Minister Dagmar Witt Morges said that the crew performed all the procedures that were provided by the manufacturer repeatedly but were not able to control the aircraft. The 737 MAX family of aircraft was grounded following the Ethiopian Airlines crash, a move affecting more than 300 planes. In a statement, the chief executive of Ethiopian Airlines, Tawolde Gabri Mariam, said he was proud of the pilot's high level of professional performance, adding that it was very unfortunate that they could not recover the airplane from the persistence of nosediving. The aircraft possessed a valid certificate of air worthiness. The second one, the crew obtained the license and qualifications to conduct the flight. And third, the takeoff roll appeared very normal. And the fourth one is the crew performed all the procedures repeatedly provided by the manufacturer but was not able to control the aircraft. Two safety recommendations has been forwarded in the preliminary report. It is recommended that the aircraft flight control system related to the flight controllability shall be reviewed by the manufacturer. Boeing says it plans to install an extra warning system on all 737 MAX aircraft, which was previously an optional safety feature. It is also revising pilot training to provide enhanced understanding of the 737 MAX flight system and crew procedures. The plane maker says the upgrades are not an admission that its software caused the crashes. Bonareri Samaha for Ebru TV.